A Different World, the iconic 1987 TV series, has etched its place in the hearts of many. It's a show that transported viewers to the vibrant world of Hillman College, where the lives of its diverse student body unfolded. But do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Or are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about it that fascinate you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some intriguing tidbits about this beloved show. A Different World was not just a spin-off of The Cosby Show, it was a cultural phenomenon in its own right. With its groundbreaking portrayal of college life and social issues, the series left an indelible mark on television, tackling topics like race, class, and relationships with both humor and depth. It provided a platform for open discussions on matters rarely seen on mainstream TV at the time. One lesser known fact is that the show was initially intended to follow Denise Huxtable, a character from The Cosby Show, but it quickly evolved into an ensemble cast-driven narrative, featuring memorable characters like Dwayne Wayne and Whitley Gilbert. It also gave rise to the HBCU experience, shedding light on the unique culture and challenges of these institutions. But enough about the facts, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? Share your stories with us and let's celebrate the enduring impact of a different world together. A Different World, a 1987 TV series, emerged as a spin-off of The Cosby Show and quickly found its unique identity by focusing on the college experience at the fictional HBCU, Hillman College. The show primarily follows the lives of its diverse ensemble of characters, led by Denise Huxtable and later Whitley Gilbert, as they navigate the challenges of young adulthood, academics, and social issues. With its witty humor, thought-provoking themes, and memorable characters, a different world tackled critical topics such as race, relationships, and personal growth. Its impact on popular culture was significant, as it not only addressed important issues, but also celebrated African-American culture and HBCUs. The show's style was characterized by a mix of comedy, drama, and social commentary, and it broke new ground in portraying the black college experience on television. A different world left an enduring mark, influencing later series, and raising awareness about the importance of representation in media, ultimately becoming a beloved classic in the world of American television. The show's popularity with young African American viewers has been credited with boosts in enrollments at several real-life historically African American colleges. A number of non-African American students have also claimed that they were inspired to pursue a college education by the series as well. This impact on real-world education and diversity highlights the significant cultural influence of a different world, making it more than just a TV show. It became a catalyst for positive change and opportunities in higher education, breaking new ground in its own way. In August 2006, Nick at Night premiered new shorts titled Hillman College Reunion with cast members reprising their characters. The shorts featured Lisa Bonet, Jasmine Guy, Kadeem Hardison, Daryl M. Bell, Cree Summer, and Sinbad. They aired during a week-long marathon of the series. These reunions gave fans a chance to revisit their beloved characters and reminisce about the show's impact on popular culture. It's a testament to the enduring legacy of a different world that even years later, the cast could come together to celebrate the show and its place in television history. Jasmine Guy and Kadeem Hardison are the only performers to remain with the show for all six seasons. Daryl Bell was there all six seasons, but he was recurring in season one. Their consistent presence in the cast contributed to the show's enduring success, and it's interesting to note that Whitley's character, originally intended for just the pilot, became a regular due to her popularity, making Jasmine Guy the star of the show. This cast stability and the unexpected rise of Whitley's character played a crucial role in shaping the series' trajectory. The show A Different World, a 1987 TV series, underwent significant changes during its run. In response to criticism that it didn't accurately depict a historically black college, the show was revamped for the second season. This transformation was not solely due to Lisa Bonet's departure, but also involved Debbie Allen, who became the producer. Drawing from her own experiences at Howard University, she reshaped the show to better represent college life. 
Furthermore, the show's writing staff made annual visits to black colleges to gather insights on campus life, issues, and events which they incorporated into the series. This behind-the-scenes shift reflects the show's commitment to authenticity and its dedication to portraying the HBCU experience accurately. It showcases the efforts made to address earlier criticisms and create a more genuine representation of college life, which contributed to the show's lasting impact. In the 1987 TV series A Different World, a noteworthy change occurred in the show's theme song. The theme was initially sung by Phoebe Snow in the first season. However, in seasons two through five, the iconic theme song was performed by the legendary Aretha Franklin. As the series reached its final season, the theme song took a different turn, being sung by the renowned vocal group Boys Two Men. This alteration in the theme song marked a distinctive element in the show's evolution, reflecting the dynamic nature of a different world. The shift in the theme song mirrored the changes and growth experienced by the characters at Hillman College, making it a unique and memorable aspect of the series. A Different World, the 1987 TV series, had its share of behind-the-scenes changes and interesting tidbits. One noteworthy fact is that Maggie's disappearance after the first season was never explained. The character simply vanished without any on-screen resolution. Additionally, during the series' development, there were plans to feature singer Lena Horne as a Hillman professor who would mentor students. However, when the show was picked up by NBC, this plan was abandoned. Lena Horne did make a guest appearance during the series' final season, but as herself, not as the professor. Lastly, while playing roommates on the show, co-stars Lisa Bonet and Marissa Tomei actually lived together in real life. Their off-screen friendship added an extra layer of authenticity to their on-screen chemistry. These lesser-known facts provide insight into the unique aspects of a different world, showing that there's more to the series than meets the eye. Stay tuned for more interesting trivia about this iconic show. As we bid adieu to this journey down memory lane, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with the 1987 TV series, A Different World. This iconic show has touched the lives of countless individuals over the years, each with their unique experiences and cherished moments. Perhaps it sparked important conversations, inspired you to pursue higher education, or simply provided laughter and warmth during your own formative years. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts and memories. Whether it's a favorite character, a memorable episode, or a life lesson you've carried with you, we'd love to hear your stories. A Different World has been a tapestry of experiences for so many, and your voice adds a unique thread to that rich fabric. Thank you for taking the time to reminisce and engage with the magic of this show. Your stories and reflections are a testament to the enduring impact of A Different World. We appreciate your interest and look forward to reading your cherished memories.